So one more thing that we're going to go ahead and do here is right now we are in the master branch. We will go back to the crazy branch and we will do one more change and one more commit. So we move to the crazy branch and as you can see crazy branch has this crazy file. Let's go ahead and rename this particular file. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and rename this file. So we'll go ahead and call it as rainbow. This is the file we have renamed to. So now if you go back and look at the status of the repository, you will see that there is a file called, so it will understand that, okay, the crazy.html has been deleted and there is this untracked file. So instead of understanding the rename, it understood that we have deleted one file and we have created one file called rainbow.html. So now next what we're going to do is we will go ahead and remove or remove this crazy.html so we're going to go ahead and get rid of this and then if you look at the status there is only this particular file has been deleted and there is still an untracked file called rainbow.html now we will go ahead and add this file to the staging or create a snapshot so we're going to go ahead and say git add and we're going to say rainbow dot of html so we are adding this particular file now if you look at the status one more time you will see that we have kind of now it understands that okay we have renamed the crazy.html to the rainbow.html so this is what we have done so we have uh, we have renamed the crazy.html to the rainbow.html now we will do the last commit we will say git commit and the message that i want to display is we can say we have renamed crazy.html to rainbow dot of html this is what we have done okay so now we have this is our now if i go back and if i look at my history so we can say git log one line you will see since we are in the crazy it acknowledges all the commits we did so we did these two commits rename the crazy html to the rainbow and we added a rainbow to the crazy html so we kind of edited this file but if we switch to the master branch or to, to the main branch if you go ahead and say git checkout to the master what you will see here is and if you go ahead and look at the log history or the commit history you will see that the first two commits are not there so if i go back here i was missing one dash See, it does not even understand that we have added this renamed the crazy or it does not even acknowledges anything like that. So it has its own commit history and the crazy um, branch has its own commit history. So there are two independent workspaces and they're both unrelated to each other. And we are right now working in our crazy branch. We have first we have created a we had uh, made some changes to the crazy.html and then we did another commit where we have renamed the file from crazy.html to the rainbow.html and now we are switching back and forth between these two branches and i'm just want to show you that these two branches are totally independent of each other and whatever you're doing it in your uh, crazy branch does not affect anything in your master branch